quick revision video on aromatic directing groups. So there's two types of directing groups. We've got electron donating groups and we've got electron withdrawing groups. So we'll start with the electron donating groups. The OH group and the NH2 group, if they're attached to a benzene ring, they will donate electron density to the benzene ring. So the benzene ring we could say is being activated because electron density is being fed into it. So that makes the benzene ring more reactive. So the reactions are going to occur more readily, more able to attract electrophiles if you like. And we need to know that substitution occurs at positions two and four, and they're also known as the ortho and para positions. So there's an example for you. Phenol reacts with nitric acid and produces two nitrophenol and water and four nitrophenol and water. We look at the electron withdrawing groups now. There's only one specified by the syllabus. So the NO2 substituent group that withdraws electron density, so it takes it away from a benzene ring. So we say that the benzene ring is deactivated and that's going to make benzene less reactive. So the reaction is going to occur less readily. And for electron withdrawing groups, substitution occurs at position three, which is also known as the meta position. So the example I've got is this one here. So nitrobenzene reacts with bromine. We're going to need an ALBr3 or FeBr3 catalyst because of the uh, deactivation of the benzene ring. And the product that we're going to get is going to be 3-bromo-nitrobenzene and obviously HBr as well. So I thought I'd include this exam question. So we've got two things to do. We've got to fill in the blanks and then we've got to give the structures of the products formed if the reduction was carried out before the bromination. So if you want to pause the video, have a go at that, and then play on when you're ready. So we'll fill in the blanks first. So if we're reacting nitrobenzene with bromine, well, you've just seen that. You're going to need bromine and either FeBr3 or AlBr3 catalyst. Remember, the nitro group withdraws electron density from the benzene ring, makes it less reactive. So the intermediate, well, that's going to put the bromine at position 3. So there's the intermediate product. And then we reduce that nitro group to the amine group by reaction with tin and concentrated hydrochloric acid. So if we think about part B now, if reduction was carried out first, that means that we'd have an NH2 group here. So NH2 is actually an electron donating group, and it's going to put the bromine at position 2, opposition four. So there's the answer for part B. Now there are of course other directing groups but if you're asked about those you will be supplied with the information in the exam question. So you can see there the three that we have to know about from the specification the NH2 group and the OH group 2,4 directing and the NO2 group 3 directing.